Good morning and welcome to Cincy Lifestyle. Well, it looks Mona like we all survived another brush uh, with the polar vortex this morning. How are you doing? <laughs> I am doing so well, Clyde. You know what? It looks so cold outside that I wore a turtleneck today yeah, yeah. because it just looks like it's cold. And, you know, I get cold easily, so I am toasty and warm on the inside. But you had to drive into the station, so how was your drive? And you just had to remind me, didn't you? You, you just wanted me to know <laughs> that you're home toasty and warm while I had to drive. Uh, actually, uh, Mona, truthfully, it wasn't that bad. Uh, the, the road crews, uh, city of Cincinnati, Hamilton County, state of Ohio, did a superb job uh, on most of the major thoroughfares I traveled. I had about a mile stretch of slush on one street, uh, but for the most part, it was great. I drove through Eden Park to get here, perfect. Wow, okay. Well, you know what, I because I live in a condo, my driveway and everything is always shoveled and it's just wonderful. Um, to, to wake up and not see the snow. But then I took a look on my patio mm -hmm. and I'm like, whoa, we, we did get some snow here today, <laughs> last night. You know, it's, <laughs> I look, I didn't now, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't step outside in it, but um, I did open up my patio screen door to take the photo, but it looked to me about anywhere about Five to six inches yeah. that were at my house, and, I, and I'm in Kenwood. Yeah, well, we're going to have to call your people and make sure they get there to your, to your patio <laughs> and get that straightened out. Right. Just in case I want to have a picnic today. Right, You're right, right, Clyde. They're goofing off today. They need to get there and fix that patio. But, Mona, <laughs> as you well know, what's a pain in the neck for some of us, like snowy commutes, is sheer magic for others. And here's an example of what we're talking about. There are plenty of animals at the Cincinnati Zoo that enjoy this snowy weather. We're talking your polar bears, snow leopards, Arctic foxes, and yes, even red pandas. We took a trip to the zoo to learn specifically about the red panda and what makes them so special. Take a look. A red panda is a fascinating, well-adapted animal. Uh, there's a lot of things about the red panda that make them unique. The biggest thing I like to get across to people is that they, these are the true pandas. They were discovered and described about 40 years before the giant panda was. So we like to call them the true panda, the real panda. The giant panda mostly lives its life on the ground where the red panda is very arboreal. They're well adapted to life in the trees. They have very sharp teeth and claws, claws for climbing and uh, teeth for defense against predators. They look somewhat alike, the giant panda and, and the red panda, but um, the giant panda is a lot larger. So these animals live mostly on bamboo in the wild. Now they will take other smaller animals bird's eggs uh, when they can, but mostly it is a carnivore, which means they ate meat, they used to, but through the millennia and the need to survive, they switched to a plant-based diet. So mostly their diet in the wild is bamboo. We do give them bamboo every day. It's really great for their, their diet, their digestive system uh, we're incredibly lucky to be able to be to cut fresh food for them every day and in addition to that they get a, a leaf eater or a leaf replacer biscuit that replaces a lot of that fiber that they would normally get in in the diet and and they love apples and bananas scientists have tried to put these animals in uh, family with other animals like bears or pandas or raccoons but recently like in the last 10 years or so they have put the red pandas in a, a family all their own because they have that many different adaptations and they're not like other other animals they're here every day so they're out and they're ready for people to come see them i think they're a highly underappreciated animal here at the zoo. With Valentine's Day right around the corner, a lot of couples will be looking for ways to show affection or strengthen their relationship. And one way to do this is through counseling. 
And right now, I want to welcome our guest, Rosalind Smith Sistrunk, the owner and lead counselor at Rosalind Smith Counseling. Rosalind, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So first, tell us about some of the problems that you can help with through your practice. Well, I mostly deal with helping couples deal with the emotional pain and trauma that they've experienced. As far as couples, it's usually due to some type of infidelity. I also help my couples reconnect and improve the intimacy in their um, relationship. As far as individuals, I'm helping them process the childhood trauma that they've experienced that is causing issues in their present day um, life. Okay, those are, those are real good points. Um, so you say you take a holistic approach. Tell us what that means. Yes, so my go-to technique is mindfulness meditation. It is the thing that helps individuals connect their mind, body, and spirit. So we start off with that because our bodies are, are constantly giving us information of how well we're doing. And so we need to be able to connect with our bodies to help us in our healing. But I also do um, aromatherapy, EFT tapping, and brain spotting to help deal with trauma. All right, so you know we're coming up on Valentine's Day, as we said. So what are some things that couples can work on to strengthen their relationship? I think the biggest and seems easy thing to do is to ask questions. A lot of times we go based off of assumptions and we run with that and often it does a lot of damage to our um, communication with each other so i teach all of my couples to ask questions from a place of curiosity just because you want more information not from a place of blame or shame but just from curiosity because you just need more information okay that's a really good tip Rosalind. if people want to connect with you can you give us your information Yes, you can visit my website, rosalindsmithcounseling.com. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Rosalind Smith Counseling, or you can follow my business page on LinkedIn, Rosalind Smith Counseling. All right, it sounds good. Rosalind, thank you so much for sharing this information. We appreciate it. Thank you again for having me. It was a pleasure. All right, this is going to be fun. It is National Cherry Month and National Chocolate Month. So what better way to celebrate than with cherry chocolate chip and a love boat Sunday? How about those ideas? Joining us now is Chip Grater, fourth generation family member at Grater's Ice Cream. Chip, thanks for being here. We always know things are going well when you show up. Um, thanks, Clyde. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. And welcome to a wonderful snowy February day. <laughs> yes, it is. So let's talk a little bit about Valentine's Day because that's just around the corner. What's Grader's doing to celebrate that? Well, we always have a, a wealth of candy and, and all kinds of good treats like that. But February is everyone's favorite month with cherry chocolate chip. And so we thought we'd make a, a, a what we call a love boat Sunday here today. Mm. And so I've got, um, it starts off with a couple dips of uh, ice cream, one of our famous, world famous black raspberry chocolate chip and one of our monthly features, the cherry chocolate chip. And then we'll, uh, we'll add a little hot fudge to that, which is uh, incredible. We make that in our candy kitchens. And uh, so there's a little hot fudge. And then we're going to maybe top that with a little homemade whipped cream that we make in our stores. Right there, let's do a double dip of that. And then, uh, oh, yeah, double dip is always good. Absolutely. And then we, um, just to kind of kick it up a notch and have some fun, we, we put some conversation hearts on top of that. And uh, so you can have that there. And then we'll throw a few chocolate jimmies on there just, just to round it out. And uh, so there you have our Love Boat Sunday. If you're Ooh. a Sweet Rewards member coming up on the 13th and 14th of February, you, you'll get an email and it's a buy one, get one free. So bring your loved one in and, and, and buy a Sunday and get one free. So yeah, looking forward to seeing a whole bunch of folks uh, over Valentine's Day. Uh, so, so how long will you be making these? Well, we'll make it all month long, but uh, um, but we make cherry chip all month long, and we always have black raspberry chips. So these will always be here for the month of February. Now, as I understand it, you have a couple of uh, cherry chocolate flavors. What's the difference between them? Sure. Well, the cherry chocolate chips chip starts out with a uh, 
Madagascar vanilla bean base, and then we add maraschino cherries to it, and then the dark chocolate chips. And then our other flavor is our long time standing black cherry chocolate chip, and that has black mm. cherries in it from the Pacific Northwest, and our dark chocolate chips in that. And, and what do you find people tend to prefer? Do, is there, you know, is there a taste great, less filling kind of back and forth about this, about these two well, flavors? Well, so I would say black cherry is a little bit strong. Well, we've had black cherry for as long as I can remember. So, um, and then about 10 or 15 years ago, we added chocolate chips to it. So uh, when I was growing up, it was just black cherry. Then we add chocolate chips to everything, and we did that. And so we have black cherry chocolate chip every day as a flavor, and it's very popular. And then um, we only have cherry chocolate chip but for the month of February. It's a seasonal flavor, and uh, it's a great, it's one of my favorites. Okay. All right, so if people want to maybe pick up a pint for Valentine's Day, where can they find one? Well, any of our local stores, you can find a, find a find cherry chocolate chip or our black raspberry chocolate chip, uh, the chocolate jimmies and all the other toppings. So um, we can also go to online, www.graders.com, and uh, you can have ice cream shipped directly to you. All right, that's a winning combination, Chip. Thank you so much for talking to us today. Thanks, Clyde. All right, Mona? Well, there may be no better time than now to focus on how we can improve ourselves and the planet with resolutions to live a greener lifestyle. And as lifestyle expert Kia Malone tells us, small choices can make a huge impact when it comes to sustainability. Sustainability is crucial because we are filling up those landfills and it can lead to severe consequences for both our planet as well as our communities. So when you're grocery shopping, maybe look for aluminum cans and cups instead because they are infinitely recyclable. Here's a new one for you. The Ball Aluminum Cup, brand new product. It's designed to be an alternative to plastic and styrofoam cups. Go to ball.com for more information on the aluminum cup as well as the benefits of using aluminum cans and bottles. Well, coming up here on Cincy Lifestyle, he's a highly recognized author, and he's joining us right here today on the show. Neil Schusterman will tell us about his new book, Game Changers, as well as some of the other books and TV episodes he's written. Plus, there's nothing like a handmade gift, and now Amazon is making it easier than ever to order and send these gifts to your loved ones. We'll tell you all about that and more right after the break. Welcome back. Well, he's an author whose books have received a number of awards from the International Reading Association to the American Library Association and many, many more. And now author Neil Schusterman has a new book that is truly a must read. And to tell us more about it, I want to welcome the man himself, author Neil Schusterman. Thank you so much, Neil, for joining us. And your new book is called Game Changer. So can you tell us a little bit about it? Well, Game Changer is about a high school football player who tackles so hard that his tackles bounce him into alternate realities. Uh, but really, Game Changer is a story about empathy, about learning empathy. The main character's name is Ash, and he's this fairly oblivious, white, heterosexual kid. But he, in the course of the story, challenged. He's going to have this crash course in racism, sexism, homophobia, and privilege through this series of world-bending events that are going to hit him harder than he tackles on the field. All right. Well, you know what? I understand there's a lot of relevant issues, you know, even in today's pandemic climate. So when did you start writing this book? Uh, I've been working on Game Changer for about four years. Uh, it's, it's a long process because it's a complicated story where the world keeps changing in the course of the story. But also because of all the social issues that it addresses, it really took a lot of time until I felt that I got it right. Well, I'm sure I'm positive you got it right because you've written more than two dozen books. Do you have a favorite or is one of them, does one of them stand out to you? Oh, it's, you know, it's really hard to pick a favorite. You know, your books are like your children. You love them all. I mean, I could tell you that Challenger Deep 
is a favorite because that one was inspired by my own son's uh, experiences. But then Scythe is a favorite because of the world building that I did in that. But then Game Changer is the one that I think is the most socially relevant of all of my books. So they're all favorites in one way or another. Well, um, I look forward, and I think a lot of people will look forward to reading Game Changer. But you have also written a TV shows, and you've had books turned into movies. So how's that shaped you as a writer, and can you share some of those with us? Uh, well, you know, I, from the beginning of my career, I worked uh, on books at the same time that I was working on scripts. And every once in a while, I get the, the opportunity to adapt my own material. Right now, I'm in the process of adapting Game Changer to a TV series for Netflix with uh, writer Brian Yorkey, who was responsible for bringing 13 Reasons Why uh, to TV. So, it, and that's been a fantastic process. Uh, and with a TV series, there's so many more things to explore uh, with Game Changer that I couldn't all get into, into the book because, you know, I mean, there's so many issues and so many different worlds that the character visits. Uh, it's really gonna be interesting to see where it goes as a TV series. Oh, that is exciting. Okay, so we're looking forward to the TV series, but if people want to get a copy of the book, Game Changer, how do they do that? Oh, you can pick up Game Changer pretty much anywhere. Uh, Barnes & Noble, uh, you can go to, you know, Amazon, IndieBound, if you want to support local bookstores. So it's uh, available everywhere. Okay, Neil, thank you so much. It's a pleasure meeting you and talking to you today. Pleasure to meet you, too. Thank you. Clyde. It is time to take your gift giving to another level. When it comes to picking out something meaningful, two key ingredients come to mind, handmade and unique. Alex Davis shares one way you can find special gifts and support small businesses all year round. Unique gifts made by hand are a great way to say I love you this Valentine's Day. Whether it's a beautiful pair of earrings or a hand-painted piece of pottery, something handmade means a lot. What I love about handmade is that you can find a unique gift for your loved ones and support a small business owner at the same time. Amazon Handmade was founded in 2015 because Amazon customers were looking for a way to shop small, support small businesses, and buy handcrafted products. To see all the maker-made creations, go to Amazon.com handmade. Well, if you think having a white, bright smile will cost too much money or it's too time consuming or the idea of having sensitivity issues keeps you away from that confident white smile, we have a secret that we want to share with you and here to share it with you and tell us all about it and just how easy it is to whiten and maintain a bright white smile is my friend Scott DeFalco. Thanks for joining us, Scott, and we're going to jump right in. Tell us all about Power Swabs. Oh, my goodness, Mona. Power Swabs is certainly not a secret. In fact, uh, it's really the leader in the teeth whitening industry and changing the way we whiten our teeth in this country and around the world for the last six years because we've gone worldwide with it now. And the reason why it's been so popular, actually three reasons why, is that you're going to get results in less than five minutes. We're going to do it without sensitivity. I'm glad you brought that up at the top because that's the biggest complaint people have about the other products. But it also works on all dental surfaces, Mona, which is a big deal because people pay a lot of money to get those procedures done. Over time, their smiles go uneven because they stain. Not anymore. Power swabs will lift those stains, get you back to the bright white smile you had when it was done. All right, so we're looking at a two-step process, right? Yeah, it's a quick two-step process, and I brought a fun video, Mona, uh, of time-lapse of two raw eggs that we use. And I don't know about you, but I cannot start my mornings without my coffee like millions of other people. So we took a raw egg, and we put it in coffee for only 30 minutes. You see it right there. And then for three hours, but even after 30 minutes, Mona, coffee can significantly stain your teeth. But with Power Swab's quick two-step process, we're first removing the stains. Then we're whitening it. You see it right there. The stains are gone. It's pretty incredible. That is incredible, um, Scott. So, um, you know what? Oh, Power Swabs has some other features that makes it so popular. So talk about that. Yeah, it's great. It's so easy to use. And I'm going to show your viewers what they just saw with the egg video, Mona, because when you get the Power Swabs in the mail, you're going to get a box of seven stain out swabs, a box of seven whitening swabs. You're simply just going to pop it open, rub it on your teeth, just like this, just like you saw in the egg video, for only two minutes. That's it, Mona. 
And with the stain out swab, again, we're removing the stains, not covering them up like the strips and the trays, but we're also hydrating our enamel. That's why you don't get the sensitivity. The other products take the moisture out. That's why they hurt so much. So you do that for two minutes, pop open the whitening swab, another two minutes, and I'm done, Mona. In less than five minutes, you're gonna get on average, you're seeing it on your screen right now, two shades whiter. After the very first use, you're only gonna do that once a day for seven days and get six shades whiter. Best part results us up to six months. Like I said, incredible product and people just love it. All right, well, let's get it into the hands of people. Tell us how they can get more information and get this product. Yeah, first their hands, then their mouth. Uh, but we're gonna give you our biggest discount ever, 40% off, plus free shipping, plus for free the on-the-go stain out quick stick for the daily maintenance, Mona. Usually when you get a free gift with things, it's not that great. This rocks. Use it after your morning coffee or lunch. It's like brushing your teeth without having to. Rub it on your teeth for about a minute or two. Lifts the stains before they sit in. The best part is that it's free. The only way to get that deal is to call the 1-800 number on your screen. There's also more information and updates at powerswabs.com. All right, Scott, thank you. You know what? You're incredible and you rock. We appreciate you coming on the show. Okay, back with more Cincy Lifestyle on the other side of the break. Plus, be sure to check us out on Instagram where we post all kinds of polls, questions, and behind-the-scenes pictures while we're safely out in the community. Follow us on Instagram at Cincy Lifestyle. Stick around. We'll be right back. All right, pretty cut and dried out there today. Mostly cloudy, high of about 33. Sun possible in the afternoon hours, but watch out for refreezing tonight, Mona. Yes, please be careful. And that is Cincy Lifestyle for Tuesday, February 9th. Uh, reach out to us. Let us know what you think of the show. Give us some show ideas. We always appreciate hearing from you. Be careful out there. Make today a great day. Thanks for watching our video. And if you liked what you saw, hit the subscribe button. You can also check out full episodes of the show you've never seen before or watch your favorites again and again. And as always, we love to say it, make it a great day.